hope that you are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today where we are going to explore. And today we are going to make lava lamps. And we have done this in the past where we've used a combination of baking soda and vinegar to create the bubbles. Today we are going to create the bubbles with an antacid. So what else are we going to use? Here we go. So we have the antacid. I've broken it up into little pieces. So each small tablet I broke into four pieces. Water, vegetable oil, a bottle, and food color. I've got orange today. I've kept the cap to the bottle because we are going to need that later. And I am going to fill the bottle with one to two inches of water. And this is just a paper bag on the table to prevent there from being any messes. And that's probably about an inch and a half, so I am going to stop there. Next thing we're going to do is add food color to our water. Since Halloween's coming up, I'm going to use orange. Now we're going to fill it three quarters full with the vegetable oil. And this doesn't have to be exact, you just want it to be enough of the oil that you're going to be able to have the right effects. And I'm going to let the oil settle some because I've stirred it up by adding it. All right, it has settled a great deal. Now the antacid comes in a tablet about the size of a quarter. I have broken it up into four pieces. If you want to be more exact, you can cut that instead. And what we're going to do is add two of the pieces to our thing here. I will bring you in closer. So you can see that it is bubbling up from the water layer into the layer with the oil. And it looks a lot like a lava lamp. And that happened pretty quickly. If you use warmer water, the process goes faster. If you use colder water, the process takes longer to occur. And as it starts to slow down, if you want it to speed up again, all you need to do is add a couple more pieces of the antacid. And there it's going again. So what causes this to happen? The antacid has ingredients that when combined with water will create carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, it gives it off this gas. The oil does not interact with the antacid at all. So it falls through the oil layer, goes into the water, dissolves in the water, forms the gas. Since the gas is lighter than the water or the oil, it'll float upwards so you have the bubbles. So I hope you had fun with this activity today, making a lava lamp using antacids to power it. 
When you are done with this, with this quantity of oil, you do not want to dump that down the drain. So you're either going to want to put the lid back on it and throw it away. Or if you have a compost pile, you can dump it in the compost pile. So I will be back again very soon when we will do another Explore and Create. And we'll also have another book video this week. I hope you will join me then. And until then, I hope that you will continue to use your curiosity to explore your world and your creativity to improve it. And thank you.